Hey, welcome to Ergo Everything, where we discuss RSI solutions for computer users. Um, today we are talking about um, job options in case you need to give your hands a break, um, or you just kind of like lose ability in your hands and you need to do something that is gentle on the hands. Um, I did do another video about this previously, which I'll link in the description. Um, here we are going to talk about a lot of jobs. These jobs are going to be even more hands friendly than the previous jobs we talked about. A lot of the jobs are just basically getting paid to sit around and maybe like look at things. Um, and a lot of them have a seasonal option so that if you just really don't know what the future looks like for you or you know that you just want a certain number of months of break, you can opt for the seasonal job so you don't have to be uh, committing to and then quitting a job because you're, you're able to move on to bigger and better things. So, um, in no particular order, first option is being a lifeguard. So, um, obviously, if you have a condition that would prevent you from being able to save someone's life, uh, this isn't the job for you. So, maybe, for example, if you have like a frozen shoulder, um, if you do have a frozen shoulder, definitely look into trigger point therapy because I have heard of stories where that has healed it. But, uh, like for me, for example, I feel like I can do anything with my hands. Um, for a short period of time. But if I have to do pretty much anything repetitively, it becomes a problem. So lifeguard, um, I actually watched a couple videos of like what it's like to be a lifeguard. And most of the time you are just sitting around, blowing your whistle at people. And um, a lot of lifeguards will only have like one or two saves a year. Um, uh, occasionally you also will like test the water, maybe like unlock doors and stuff uh, to like start the day off with. Um, but generally, it seems like an incredibly, incredibly safe job if you have issues with your hands. Um, the pay can vary a lot. Like in my state, I don't know why, but um, they offer, they're all offering like $10 an hour. Um, but when I looked in California, they paid um, about 17, which is basically the same as they pay for um, like customer service jobs. Uh, whereas here, for some reason, like customer service jobs are making way more than lifeguards. Um, but it seems like it could be a great option. You do have to um, you do have to go through a training, but most jobs will offer training, and it's not anything too crazy. Like teenagers get this job all the time, and it can be seasonal. If um, you work for like an outdoor pool um, or for example, there's, um, I know of a lot of amusement, amusement parks, um, water parks, and um, you could be a lifeguard there. Or um, if you don't want to go through the training to become a lifeguard, you could also work in a position where you just like regulate when people go down the slides. Again, it's a seasonal job in most circumstances because uh, they're outdoors. But yeah, you can just basically stand around and be and tell people when it's okay to go down the slide. Um, so I think that's a really great option. Now, uh, number two, we've got a security guard or bouncer. Um, so a lot of, and that might sound kind of intimidating to be like a security guard, but a lot of, and maybe even most, security guards um, are unarmed and are not like legally allowed to touch people at all. They are just there to kind of walk around, talk to people, um, and try to resolve disputes verbally. And they are supposed to call the police if someone's being a troublemaker or whatever. And um, this job does require some documentation if there's an incident. Um, there's also some jobs where you're like... Um, just watching cameras and they require a lot of documentation, which might be just fine if you have like voice recognition software, um, but it, it is something to keep in mind. Um, this could also be a decent career. Um, a lot of the, this is one of the highest paying jobs that I saw. There's one more that's, that's uh, like higher paying uh, that we'll get to. All right, so the third option is a parking lot attendant slash ticket booth operator. There, there's a lot of specific jobs within this category. Um, and some of them are full-time positions like year-round and others are seasonal. So uh, 
one option that's like seasonal is if you were to, I think we've all gone into um, national parks and there's always someone in the booth who takes your money, gives you your receipt, um, maybe gives you some information. This seems like a fairly safe option. Uh, there's also a lot of different options. So pretty much everyone is close to an airport and um, there's a lot of shuttle services. So you can park um, at the shuttle service and then they will um, protect your car in the parking lot while you're gone and you'll be able to get on the shuttle and they'll drive you and drop you off at the airport and, and take you back, of course. So um, specifically the parking spot, they have the yellow buses with the black spots. Um, they seem to be have a, a lot of they're always hiring in like whatever state you look in um and that could be a, a full-time position um also if you're near um ski ski resorts um if you wanted seasonal work you could be the parking lot uh, attendant for a ski resort um and then you there's also um events where you could be a parking lot attendant uh, for example, uh, like Christmas light displays. And, you know, that runs for like a couple of months. Uh, number four, you could work at a movie theater. Um, I don't know if this is true everywhere, but in the area that I live, movie theaters tend to employ people who would otherwise have a hard time gaining employment, probably because they can pay them less. Um, but people with like mental handicaps, uh, physical handicaps, um, the, I don't know if handicap is the way we're saying it anymore. Um, the elderly and um like there is this sweet old lady with um like a hand tremor who takes your tickets and, and tells you where to go I, it's not going to pay good but i can't think of really a, a safer option besides maybe like the lifeguard position um and also like just selling tickets would probably be fine as well um another option where you you get paid to just be there is a greeter and of course, um, there's Walmart greeters. Um, at Costco, who is known for paying their employees well, um, you have a person who greets people when they come into the store and, and checks for their uh, membership. And someone who checks the receipts on the way out, or, or a few people. And um, so that could be a really good option. Also, it's some of the like really ritzy stores, like I saw one for Louis Vuitton. Um, they have someone who is a dedicated greeter, uh, wears like a suit and, uh, you know, guides people to where they need to go and, and literally just talks to customers. So, uh, again, probably not going to pay well, but, uh, very safe positions. Let's, I think we're on the fifth option, which is campground host. And this one can be a little bit, um questionable whether it would work for you but I did have a friend who worked as a campground host and um, he basically described the job as he just sat around all day um, and sold firewood. You are also always expected to um, clean fire pits on occasion and when any anyone leaves you're supposed to go and check for trash. Um, and all of that seems pretty much fine. Um, you are expected to clean the bathroom once or twice a week. Um, so, you know, if that's a problem for you, consider that, but it, it's just occasional. Um, the place you might really run into problems is that uh, sometimes you're expected to, like, go around with a weed whacker, which might be a problem, um, or, like, paint tables or, like, do repairs. Um, but, like, campground host is a job that a lot of, like, elderly people will hold, which I think probably implies it's it's generally pretty safe and in the case of my friend uh definitely was a very hand safe position um of course very seasonal if that's what you're looking for the next option is working with kids and more older kids if you work with younger kids it's usually very physical um but there's like a variety of positions where you work with older kids um, like in my area, there are always positions for, um, mentoring like troubled teens. And the job description is you hang out with the teens and go do fun things like bowling and hiking. I'm sure any of these activities that you take the kids on, if they are problematic for you, you don't have to participate fully. Um, it does involve, you have to drive 
uh, like the company van. And, you know, don't get this job if you don't feel called to work with kids. But um, it could be a great option. And it's full full time or uh, year round. Um, also, a uh, seasonal option is like working uh, at a at a camp. Um, I went to a lot of camps as a kid, summer camps, and um, the leaders never did anything that I couldn't couldn't do today. Uh, it's a lot of like leading songs and um, and uh, going on hikes and supervising like lake activities. Um, occasionally, you know, having like a boondoggle class or whatever. Um, so. It, it could work if you're just looking for, for something that's temporary. Um, the last option I have is a tour guide. Um, this job you can make quite a bit of money. Um, I feel like the only real risk would be to your voice. Um, people can get voice RSI from talking a lot. If you live in a very touristy area, you can go into tourism. Um, but even if you don't live in a touristy area, pretty much all museums host some sort of tours. And so you could look into that. Um, there's usually other responsibilities that come with giving the tours. Um, but those tend to be pretty friendly as well, like um, maybe selling things at the gift shop um, or doing some light cleaning. So hopefully this has been helpful, whether you just need to take a break for your help. Um, and for recovery time, or you need to just kind of like reinvent your life and your career. If you have any ideas of, of great options that have, have worked for you or you've considered before, um, please leave them in the comments and we'll see you next time.